You know, WWE's being a little aggressive, to say the least, teasing these EO Sky cash-ins. Part of me feels like EO Sky's gonna have a failed cash-in. I really hope that's not gonna happen. So here's what I would do loosely regarding EO Sky's Money in the Bank cash-in. Eosky, of course, took down the briefcase in London. I believe after SmackDown this past Friday, she has now teased cash-ins at least two times? Has it been three times? It's been at least two. And of course, EO could cash in on either champion, right? Either the WWE Women's Championship on SmackDown or the Women's World Championship on Monday Night Raw. But for some reason, man, and it's not even just the the tease cash in because we've seen plenty of tease cash ins over the year that's one of the funnest parts of the money in the bank is you can play with all these teases right but i just got this gut instinct and i hate having it that eo sky is gonna have a failed cash in i don't know why but like maybe it's because i feel very confident that damian priest is gonna successfully cash in for the world heavyweight championship that just for some reason i feel on the opposite end somebody's gonna fail which i hate failed money in the bank cash ins it just feels like such a waste like this match only happens once a year only one person can get the briefcase you couldn't think in a whole year of somebody who made sense to have the briefcase that way they can have a successful cash in i i just hate failed cash in man so i hope it doesn't happen especially because it's eo sky it's not like it's charlotte or bianca or somebody who's already a made superstar in the division like eo's had her ups and downs and listen ever since she joined the main roster at SummerSlam last year she's pretty much been on a solid trajectory she's always on television had a run with the tag team champions like eo sky's done well for herself but she's not like there yet with bianca with Rhea, and you know up there with charlotte and oscar and becky and like all these top talents that are on tv every week no matter what like if eo fails her cash in it's gonna be a detriment to her so i really hope that doesn't happen it of course looks like after what we got on friday night smackdown that at SummerSlam, we all assume this anyway we just had to lay the groundwork to get there that'll be oscar versus bianca blair versus charlotte for the wwe women's championship at SummerSlam. now i have said new numerous times that I would have Damian Priest cash in successfully for the World Heavyweight Championship and I would do it specifically at SummerSlam most importantly because I feel like Seth Rollins does not have a lot of challengers on Monday Night Raw he's already wrestled everybody in the Judgment Day whether it's in championship or non-title matches numerous times Drew McIntyre's involved with Guther Guther's still the Intercontinental Champion Matt Riddle's doing that as well Cody Rhodes I just don't see it, you know being involved with the world title nobody wants to see Brock Lesnar challenge for the title Randy Orton's still on the injured shelf and when you run through all those names Seth Rollins really doesn't have any opponents so best case scenario for Monday Night Raw is Damian Priest cashing in the World Heavyweight Championship then we can get Priest Rollins and Balor maybe a triple threat at payback and then they can do some kind of follow-up to that at Fastlane and then by the end of the year hopefully somebody's freed up they can have a big world title match at Survivor Series and then maybe Seth Rollins just wins the title back for WrestleMania season because in my fantasy world I'd love to see Seth Rollins defend the World Heavyweight Championship against a Royal Rumble match winner Guth at WrestleMania next year. And what that all has to do with EO Sky is I don't expect there to be two Money in the Bank cash-ins on the same show. Now, it would be cool, and it's something WWE can tell is the first time it ever happened, so I wouldn't put it out of the question. But if Damian Priest is going to cash in at SummerSlam, presumably, at least that's what I would have, then I probably wouldn't have EO Sky cash on the same show, especially since it might get overshadowed by Damian Priest and by a Roman Reigns Jey Uso match. Like, there's going to be a lot of big stuff happening on that show. And it would kind of make sense since EO Sky is loosely been involved, like how we just saw on smackdown in the build up to this triple threat match that i'm sure is probably going to be announced next week and of course it's a triple threat match at SummerSlam, so there's going to be no count outs no dq i'm sure chaos is going to ensue all it takes is somebody getting laid out through one brutal spot and then eo sky hits the ring so realistically it would make sense but i just wouldn't have it happen however i wouldn't wait too long after SummerSlam, probably to cash in eo sky's briefcase mainly because i don't see eo sky going into wrestlemania 40 next year as the women's champion because i really feel like after SummerSlam, we might get bianca and charlotte separating for a bit because at the end of the day that's a big matchup whether people like you know charlotte or not whether they like bianca like it's a big matchup man and if they're gonna do that of course they're gonna do it at wrestlemania and you can't keep having them interact on television and just not do the one-on-one -on -one match unless they're gonna throw it out on smackdown and just say yeah screw it people will forget about it by the time wrestlemania happens i don't expect bianca versus charlotte anytime soon so a good way to separate them would honestly be have one of them win the championship at SummerSlam. i would rather bianca 
Bianca Belair win that title, but it is what it is. It'd probably be Charlotte. And then whoever that champion is, hold the title for a month, maybe two, and then they lose it to EO Sky through a Money in the Bank cash in. Then EO can go on to have a reign throughout October, November, December, maybe even January with the gold defended against a Charlotte, Bianca, and Asuka, whoever she wants to feud with uh, against, and, and more options on SmackDown. Yeah, we saw that awesome Shotzi promo. Shotzi just absolutely knocked that out of the park with her shaving her head. So there's still more to do with the Bailey Shotzi feud. Maybe Shotzi's going to get involved, want a shot at EO if she's the champ, and hell, Bailey, you know, they've been teasing a little bit. They, they've slowed down, but they were teasing a damage control breakup. Maybe they'll do Bailey versus EO Sky. EO's got opponents for a couple of months to have a good reign on SmackDown as the women's champion. But again, and this is as much as I love EO, because he's no doubt one of the best wrestlers, if not the best women's wrestler in WWE, I just don't see her being the champion at WrestleMania next year. And realistically, like sidetracking from what I was about to say, Bianca versus Charlotte is big enough in a sense like WWE can tout it as big enough where it re really doesn't need a title and that title can be used for an EO Sky for somebody else to have another big match on the show but I just see Bianca versus Charlotte if it happens being for the women's championship next year so if that's going to be the case EO can hold it throughout the fall a little bit into winter and then January maybe even February maybe she defends it inside the elimination chamber and then loses it there and then all they got to do is give the title to Bianca versus or Bianca or Charlotte I should say and then they can go on to have their one-on-one -on -one match that I assume they're going to have for the Smack, or I should, I should say the WWE Women's Championship at WrestleMania 40. That's what I would personally do if they're going to do Bianca versus Charlotte for the title next year. Again, I don't think that match even needs the title. I think WWE can tout it as big enough to be a big, you know, Bianca versus Charlotte first time ever, you know, without the championship, but I just see it being for a title. What I would rather have happen is Bianca versus Charlotte one-on-one, -on -one, and then honestly, if that's going to happen, you can delay EO cashing in for a little bit and hell you could do EO versus Asuka next year for the women's championship at Wrestlemania that's what I'd prefer honestly between the two options is EO versus Asuka for the title and then Bianca versus Charlotte non-title but they'll probably go Bianca versus Charlotte for the title and plus it's a chance to give Charlotte another title reign which I believe will be like number 15 so you know they're gonna take that but regardless of what happens with who's gonna be the champ come Wrestlemania 40 EO Sky needs to have a successful cash in and I do believe they should do it soon that way she can at least have a solid championship reign with plenty of defenses before she might inevitably lose it in the lead up to Wrestlemania 40 but let me know down below what you guys want to see when do you guys want to see EO Sky cash in and do you think she will have a successful money in the bank cash in be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Go follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and threads at Noah Nation Vlogs. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.